What is going on guys? My name is Alex. In this video, I'm super excited to finally announce that I released my very own LUT filter pack. This pack is packed with obviously 20 LUT filters that you can use in your project, whether it's for school, it's for YouTube, it's for short movies, anything like that. You guys can now get your hands on a lot of exclusive presets you can put on your videos. So no need to actually sit down on your computer and sit there hours and hours and hours on the color panels trying to get it right. I already did that for you. I spent a lot of time getting these presets right and it's finally here. I put them all in a bundle and you can get it now right at the description down below. Obviously, I'm going to show you guys in this video how to use it how to apply them in vegas pro in premiere pro the whole thing so if you guys are excited for this video and if you want to get some awesome love filters make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the first time watching i would say uh, let's get started with these love filters right after the intro All right, guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro, I'm gonna show you how to apply these awesome love filters onto it. Then we're gonna move on to Premiere Pro and then on the other software such as DaVinci and After Effects, you can do that yourself because I can't really show it in DaVinci or anything like that because I don't have that software. So we're gonna start off with Vegas. So it's pretty simple. So if you go to the link down in the description, you can pick it up for $1, like I've mentioned. These filters took hours and hours and hours to configure because I actually had to open up my control panel as you can see with all the colors in that to spend like so much time getting them right. So what we're gonna do first is when you picked it up, you will see this folder and that will basically show you all the love filters that are in the package. We have 20 awesome love filters that you can use. So the cool thing is that you don't need to install anything. Just go ahead and extract this because you need WinRAR or WinZip to extract the file that you downloaded from the website. If you have them on your computer, that's enough. You don't need to install anything. All right, so now we're back in Vegas. We're gonna go to the video effects tab and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the L where we see love. But okay, so here it is. So then what we're going to do is we're going to drag on the default one on top of the track. And this is where you want to load in these dot cube files that are in the folder. So here where it says file, you want to hit browse and then you want to open up the folder that you have downloaded. So right here, this is lot one, lot two, lot three. So let's, for example, click on lot seven. As you can see right now, this looks really, really cool and actually fits this clip. So let's play it back. And as you can see right now, it looks really, really nice because if I disable it, this is what the raw footage looks like. But if I apply apply it onto it. This is also how you can spice up the footage. And I'll show you guys some overlay clips of some documentary footage that I shot. As you can see, when I apply multiple filters, it goes from this straight to this. And it is just a really, really cool feature in addition to your editing, because you got to imagine that some love filter package can cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And you only maybe have like, you know, five or 10 of them because they're so expensive. But right now for $1, you can just pick up 20 awesome presets. And if this really, really gets picked up well, I might release a volume two. But for now, this is basically how you can use your lot filters on your editing. So it's really that simple how you can apply lot filters into Vegas. So if you want to undo it, just make sure to click on lot filter or you can just hit browse and you can hit a new file, for example, lot nine. That looks really, really cool. And you can also mess with the strength of the file. So now that you have seen that in Vegas Pro, this is how to do it. And that's and let's move on to Premiere. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, this is the raw file without any filters onto it in Premiere Pro. So if you want to move up and add in your love filters, if you go to Lumetri Color tab, right here it says Input LUT. Now, if you click on None, obviously we have many ones you can already choose from, but we're going to use some presets from my pack. So we're going to hit Browse, just like we would do in Vegas. Then it will prompt you this box. We're going to go to Desktop, open up the folder, and let's go ahead and pick, for example, LUT 15. As you can see right now, that makes it really, really dark because that's because of the love filter. And of course, you can also mess with like the temperature of the clip. You can even make that a lot warmer, a lot colder. You can also mess with the saturation. You can make it like black and white. You can make it a little bit more colorful. And it is that simple, guys. You can also hit on browse once again. Pick another one, for example, LUT 17. And, that, and the cool thing is that it's not going to add in another LUT filter on top of it. It's just going to replace it. So if you've been browsing, for example, through five LUT filters, one at each time, you're not going to have five fil LUT filters on top of it completely messing up your footage it's just going to replace it but let's go on and hit for example lut 3 as you can see that makes it really really turquoisey and kind of you know this is too much obviously so we're going to just pick for example a different one let's pick lut 20. this one makes it actually really really clear if i play back the video as you can see right now guys it is really really cool make sure to grab that lut filter because i don't really think it's going to raise up in price but it's just so affordable one buck for 20 awesome filters and it is that simple and it works exactly the same 
same in other software such as DaVinci Resolve or After Effects. And it is that simple, guys. Thanks a lot for the continued support. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously, tomorrow on the channel. Link is down below if you want to pick up this package. And thanks a lot for watching. And I'll catch you guys, obviously, in the next video.